Daily Mass Readings and Reflection August 13, 2023 First reading is taken from the book of 1 Kings chapter 19. Verses 9, 11 to 13. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah, came to a cave, where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord but the Lord was not in the Y. N.D. After the wind there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake there was fire but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. Responsorial Song Lord, let us see your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Second reading is taken from the book of Romans chapter 9, verses 1 to 5. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ, I do not lie, my conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and separated from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kin according to the flesh. They are Israelites, there's the adoption, the glory the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises, there's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ. God who is over all be blessed forever. Amen. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. Jesus walks on the water. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening he was there alone. Meanwhile the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them. Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply. Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Today's reflection in our Holy Gospel. God's presence amidst troubles. Our readings present images of difficulty and crisis. They also illustrate how human beings emotionally cope in challenging times. In the first reading, 
Elijah emerged victorious after defeating the pagan prophets of Jezebel. But now, persecuted by this wicked queen, Elijah escapes to the wilderness depressed. In the Gospel, the disciples find themselves deep in the night, tossed and battered by wind and waves in the Sea of Galilee. Both stories demonstrate that God is not oblivious to our character's situation. In the time of distress, he reveals his assuring presence to them in manners both gentle and spectacular. God manifests himself to Elijah in silence, while Jesus strides over the watery chaos towards the disciples. Both Elijah and the disciples have vivid experiences of God's power. Elijah has previously experienced God's impressive show of power when fire from heaven descended to consume his offering. Something the God of the pagan prophets of Jezebel is not able to do to prove its existence. The disciples, on the other hand, are witnesses to Jesus' public ministry and his miracles. Yet, when things turn out bad, Elijah and the disciples panic, unable to discern God's presence in crisis and chaos. Like them, many of us are not accustomed to recognizing God in chaos. The Responsorial Psalm, in fact, gives voice to our common plea in times of anguish. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. It takes strong faith to see God during bad times. When Jesus tells Peter, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? These words ring in our hearts and invite us not to doubt what God can do for us during difficult times. We see in our readings how turbulent times are also occasions when God breaks through. Our readings show how God works in both silent and spectacular ways in our world. Sometimes he is heard in the soft and subtle sounds of life. But surely, God is also fully present and active during challenging periods of our life. Saint Paul in our second reading is one person who solidly experienced God's presence amidst troubles. Here he is expressing his love for the very people who reject Christ. Because of them, he carries great sorrow and constant anguish in his heart. But this does not discourage him. So strong is his faith that he would willingly undergo a curse himself for the sake of their coming to the knowledge of Christ. In times of difficulties, how convinced are we that God never leaves our side? 